work week with a mix of precipitation and temperatures below seasonal average. Our high today only 35 degrees. That's 10 degrees below where we should be on this date with a high of 45. 33 was where we started this morning. In Lima, just above freezing, and that precluded much snow accumulation. To the north of town, it was a different story. 21 hundredths of an inch of liquid equivalent precipitation, which in town fell as a mix of rain and snow. But to the north, more in the way of snow accumulation. Columbus Grove, two inches of snow last night and this morning. Same for Ottawa and Ottoville. Delphus and Bluffton, an inch of snow fallen here at our TV station, just barely enough to measure a tenth of an inch of slush early today. Check out this scene from Keith Johnson of Columbus Grove. Certainly a winter wonderland up that way. The snow is in the process of winding down, really more like some spotty flurries this evening and tonight. Temperatures now lower to middle 30s. We're 34 degrees in Lima. It's 33 in Delphus, 36 as we look to the north in defiance. Because of a breeze, it feels colder. Wind chills only in the 20s. And those wind chills later tonight and tomorrow morning will hover near 20 degrees. So you want to dress for the weather if you're going to be outside for any length of time. As we check out the satellite and radar composite, gone the steady precipitation, just some spotty flurries remaining, and most of this too light to be detected by radar. As we widen up the view, there's that storm system moving away to the east and away from our local area, back to the west, still lots of low gray clouds, and that's why I think it stays mostly cloudy during the day tomorrow. Not much of any precipitation for our Saturday, save only for a spotty flurry, but still lots of clouds even into the afternoon, just a few peaks of sun. With that in mind, here's a look at our forecast. Tomorrow is parade day in Lima. Temperatures at 11 a.m. near freezing, 34 at midday. We climbed to 36 by 1 p.m. So certainly it's going to be a chilly go of it with that breeze out of the northeast around 7, feeling more like upper 20s to near 30 degrees by the end of the parade. So our sky cast for tonight, mostly cloudy, just the chance of a flurry here or there. We'll keep the clouds around for tomorrow. Clouds tomorrow afternoon may break for a few peaks of sunshine, but more cloudy than not as it stands now. Sunday, things change again. A weak disturbance moves in, the chance for some snow showers and flurries, another coating of accumulation possible in some places. Those temperatures falling back to freezing by 9 p.m. Late tonight, down into the mid to upper 20s. That's the actual air temperature. Wind chills closer to 20 degrees. Highs tomorrow climbing into the mid to upper 30s at 3 p.m. 37 Van Wert, 39 degrees in Salina. Lots of clouds, just a few flurries tonight, 26 degrees by daybreak. During the day tomorrow, a mostly cloudy sky, a few peaks of sun in the afternoon, our high temperature right around 39. Seven day storm authority forecast for our Sunday. Snow showers likely, a few raindrops could mix in. The chance of a slushy coating of accumulation again doesn't look to be a big deal, but that possibility is there. From Monday, another round of snow showers possible, highs near 37. Clouds limited sun, cold Tuesday 34, down to 20 for Tuesday night, but sunshine boosts temperatures back into the 40s on Wednesday. More rain possible by Thursday. That could end as a wintry mix next Friday. Jeff.